Hi everyone, I'm getting ready to run some errands on my birthday. I'm 68. Uh, I lost my virginity at 16 because I didn't think I would live very long and I wanted to experience it, you know. So, one of the lollipop kids came over and I told her how to um, do, how to feed the cats, right? Um, yeah, how to feed the cats. And looking for a pencil sharpener, oh my God. How to feed the cats. And her older brother, we saw some limbs down on a fence that my son had painted for me. He just did it without asking, you know, but that was nice. Um, he removed all the dead limbs laying across the fence and I gave him a couple dollars. And I told him, I said, listen, I'm, you'd like to earn a little bit of money. I need help. I need help with um, mowing my grass. And he said he what? He was like 15, almost 16. I said, now's the time to um, make some money. Put towards your first car. Yeah. So he said he would. So I was just joking with him and I said, do you think we live in the hood? And they go, no. So we don't live in the hood, people. We do not live in the hood. So some of my subscribers uh, guess that one, right? No, we don't live in the hood. And, um, actually, the young man said the word gentrification. And I was surprised that he knew if he, he knew that word. He goes, yes, this whole neighborhood is going through gentrification. That means somebody's coming in and um, flipping the houses, remodeling them. And, and that's right. So um, that will ease all y'all's fears. I don't think anybody's worried about where the hell I live, but whatever. So, um, at least the cats will be taken care of. So, oh my God, let me tell you what happened last night. I never, ever answer the door without knowing who is behind it, right? So I said, oh, I'm going to go to bed early last night. I usually don't go to sleep till 2 a.m. So... At 12 midnight, I am hearing my doorbell ring. And I, for the first time in my life, I didn't have my reading glasses next to my bed. So, and I, for the first time in my life, I don't, I went to bed with no pants on because I had put tanning stuff on me and I wanted it to sink in before, you know, let it dry, right? And, uh, so I finally found my glasses, looked at the camera screen on my phone, and it was my granddaughter, because I was just ignoring these texts. I go, who in the hell's texting me this late at night? Because I had texted my little sister just a couple minutes before I laid my head down. So I thought it was just her. So... Yesterday, I had driven all the way to Concord um, to get that tire sensor thing looked at again. Oh, 
God. <clears throat> and I had, it was like 1.30 and my granddaughter actually is a manager and she was closing the store. Huh? So when I knocked on her door, of course she wasn't gonna answer. I knocked and knocked and knocked. Well, finally she did answer. And I could tell she was just exhausted. So she got me back last night. <laughs> she got me back last night. She had a card for me. She had um, a balloon and a birthday cake and another another surprise, raisinets. She knows I love raisinets. Uh, yeah. So that was so nice of her. And then my brother sent me the most gigantic birthday card I'd ever seen in my life. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so that was nice. So I flat ironed my hair. I mean, yeah, my hair this morning. Yeah. So, bye everyone.